Van, you caught a lot of flack. Yes. After tweeting this compliment to the president, yes. you wrote, give this man his due at real Donald Trump is on his way to becoming the uniter in chief on an issue that has divided Americans, America for generations. Congrats to everyone on both sides who fought for this. Were you scared to tweet a compliment to the president? You know what? I knew it was going to offend people, but here's what I know. I was raised by decent people. And if I'm going to kick your butt when you're wrong, I got to be equally excited when you're right. I can't be a hypocrite. I can't be a hypocrite. Not, and so, and, and, and what we have to begin to understand is we let Twitter f frighten us from doing the right thing. But my worst day on Twitter is better than anybody's best day in prison. You have to understand that. You're never gonna, you, you, mm. Twitter cannot stop. Listen, if you're on Twitter saying Van Jones is a sellout, here's what I know, God bless you. You're not in prison because they don't have Twitter in prison. So I don't have to listen to you. You can't, you can't run me. I've got to deal with the reality. We got you know, 200,000 people behind bars just in the federal system alone. They're in Donald Trump's hands right now. He could crush them or pardon them all and let them go. And they deserve the same advocacy under a Republican president as under a Democratic president. And we cannot sit back here and say to ourselves, wow. well, I'm afraid what someone will say about me <sighs> if I go. And I'm gonna say something you don't want me to say and I don't care. You opened a door for us when you went. You called heck too. But people don't understand the way that change happens. The people you talked to when you went were then more willing to talk to me when I went. And because you walked into the White House, 4,000 people walking out the jailhouse and you never got your credit. This brother needs his credit for having the courage to go and do what other people wouldn't do. You opened the door for us. Uh, you opened the door for us. It's amazing, man. The average person don't understand the business of people. One lady told me, well, I love you, Steve, but I don't break bread with the enemy. To end war, the two enemies have to sit down. Mm -hmm. If you want any war to stop, mm -hmm. y'all got to start talking, or else y'all gonna keep bombing each other. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what it was. Let, let me... You are... You're, you're walking in a long line that's an honorable line. Yes, we have big differences, but when you're talking about poor folk, folk in jail, mm -hmm. folk addicted, folk who don't have anything, they're gonna suffer and continue to suffer unless the big folks sit down Absolutely. and squash some of Absolutely. these beasts. Absolutely. Have to do it, have to Absolutely. do it, have to do it. Here's, here's the way I look at it, it's very simple. I believe in human freedom and dignity. If you're trapped in poverty, you don't have freedom and dignity. If you're trapped in addiction and mental health, you don't have freedom and dignity. And if you are trapped in a broken criminal justice system, you don't have freedom and dignity. So I will fight with or against anybody to get freedom and mm. dignity to people at the That's bottom. Right. If, if you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. I will fight with or against any Republican, with or against any Democrat, because there's nothing more urgent than freedom and dignity for people who don't have nothing. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. Ladies and gentlemen, that's my man, Van Jones. Also, everybody, The Redemption Project premieres this Sunday, April 28th at 9 p.m. on CNN. Folks, this is a must watch. Please don't miss it. We'll be right back, everybody. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.